So what I got going on today is uh, hopefully the last day of suspension work. Um, I seen notched and did an axle flip on this 70, 71 technically, but 70 front end. Um, that worked out great. I noticed the truck was sitting a little low on the passenger side. Uh, didn't think much about it, thought maybe concrete or something. Um, had the truck up in the air when I was coming back up the driveway. I noticed that the truck looked flat and the axle actually looked like it was long on the driver's side. So I started doing a little looking at it and uh, wouldn't you know, somebody replaced one leaf spring <laughs> at some point in its life. Uh, but I noticed that there were the second longest spring. Um, they weren't the same length between the two sides. So I didn't know which one was correct, which one's been replaced. Um, started looking into it and found it kind of difficult to find decent leaf springs for these that aren't $800 or $1,000 a pair. Um, there are a couple different versions of it. I'm guessing between the short bed and the standard long bed. Um, there's also two thicknesses. So you've got like a two and a half inch leaf thickness and then a two and a quarter. This one's got a two and a quarter, which seemed to be kind of the oddball. Um, there is also a difference between where the locator pin is. I'm pretty sure that's just, again, the short bed thing. Um, this truck uses, a, I believe it's 28 inch on the rear section and then the pin and then 23 inches. Um, I think those measurements are right, but either way, that's the only version that's staggered. Um, the other option, which looks like most common for them, is just the even spaced pin. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I've had a heck of a time. Mine actually has three springs and then the, they call it three plus one, you know, that lower short spring that doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, so it's a four pack total. They're very hard to find. Um, I don't know why not a lot of companies are making them anymore. Um, I ended up calling one of my spring companies back up in Illinois and asking them about, you know, can you just build me a set of springs? And pretty much what they say is they start with the factory first spring that has the eyelets for the bushings in it and then just add however many leaves you need underneath it. So he did look up a set of springs that they had, just a brand new OE replacement, but it's the um, six stack version, which is going to be way too heavy for this half ton. I'm not pulling trailers or doing anything. It's a street truck. I doubt I'll even throw more than a lawn chair in the back. So I want it to ride nice. Started looking for four leaves, can't find them anywhere. The ones I did find, they were $400 a piece, and I just don't feel like sticking $1,000 worth of springs in the back time to ship it and everything else. So um, I did a lot of digging, ran a ton of Dorman products. Dorman, wouldn't you know, they have a spring, but it is the six pack, but it's like 180 bucks a side. So that's awesome. Um, laying them together, they look identical, and you can identify which springs are extra to take out. So I don't see what the heck, and I'm gonna end up with two extra leaf springs. Um, it save, you know, half the cost of buying the, the standard replacement for original blah, blah, blah from some custom company. So I'm just going standard ride height, obviously, because I already did the axle flip. I love the way it sits. It sits a little low on the passenger side, which I was kind of looking at like, man, eh, it kind of kind of had a little bit of a nosed uprake. Uh, the other nice thing about having the extra leaves laying around is if it is a little low, I can stick another leaf and probably lift it up a touch. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a picture of what I have and show you the dormant part number. If you have the 69 to 72, you can order these things. They're in stock. A bunch of different places get them. I got them off eBay. You can get them off Amazon, whatever's easiest for you. Um, I couldn't order them for some reason through O'Reilly's or AutoZone or any of the box stores for some reason. Maybe it's because of the weight. I don't know. Um, but I think it's gonna be a really easy project and get this thing sitting normal again. So I just don't, if you're replacing springs, replace both sides <laughs> and do it with the same brand, same manufacturer, please. <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you a picture of this and I'll take it apart. These are super easy to do. Um, that's really the only difference in them. You know, the first, second, third, whatever, they're all going to be basically the same length between the OE and the replacements. So it's pretty simple to identify which one's which. Another nice perk about this um, is that these come with the bushings already pressed in. So I was going to change the bushings anyways, and they can be kind of a pain. So that's kind of nice that it comes set. The bushings are actually surprisingly fairly expensive and you get them just as, you know, the assembly. Um, 
easy to see which springs have been added that need to be removed for my situation. It's just the lower two. Only thing I'm running into is that the um, spring pack retainer, whatever you want to call it, is actually riveted to this spring. So I think what I'm going to do first is remove the bottom spring and this spring here to retain this piece. Um, I'll bolt it in quick just to see if it sits the way that I want and if it's low or anything, then I'll probably have to just drill this, um, re-rivet it back onto here, bolt it back on, whatever it takes there. So I'm thinking that the way that this thing is so worn out, um, you can easily push up and down on it. These are definitely a lot stiffer, so I'm guessing that we're gonna be okay by removing the uh, third spring down and then your fifth spring here. So let me get that taken apart quick. And let's get our part number for everybody that ever wants to order them. That was definitely easy enough. Um, I ended up switching the other uh, pin from the other spring pack because I had to cut this one down. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be adding another spring or not back to it to get it to ride the way I want. So I just went ahead and drew that one out. And uh, that way I can cut that one down if needed. So anyways, got this thing swapped out took just a couple minutes i put a clamp around it just to hold it in place because it does kind of expand so save yourself from um, stripping the last thread or whatever off of your original bolt just stick a c-clamp around it but otherwise i'll wrestle that thing back in the truck here quick i'll get the other side knocked out set her down and see what she sits like and then i can get a final measurement on height difference between the front and rear so that way you guys know exactly how to expect the truck to sit if you do this combo as you see in the pictures, the uh, leaf springs pretty much took care of all my sag. Uh, the older GM trucks do have the uh, Chevy lean to them. So if you're super picky about making sure it's perfectly square after you're done, you're probably going to want to go airbag or uh, take it to a frame shop. Because I'm guessing that they do have frame sag in them sometimes. They are trucks and people used to use them for trucks, so not uncommon. But uh, I think three quarters of an inch was pretty much factory on them, honestly. Um, I'd say I'm within maybe a half an inch. So leaf springs definitely took care of the trick. Rides great. Um, I did actually have to, which will be in a different video, uh, relocate the shocks for the uh, flip kit that I did. So I'll kind of make a little bit of a video on that. It'll be a separate one. Um, but other than that, it turned out great. Super happy with the pictures of it. Uh, the way this thing's turning out is kind of surprising. I'm uh, kind of going with a budget build on this one, and uh, I think it's going to be a fun little street truck. We'll get into driveline one of these days and kind of show you the, the secret to this whole mystery, what's going on.